Hi, welcome to Java with Jason, your weekly mortgage and real estate market update. Um, today I want to talk to you about a very important item for you when you're buying a house and, and your clients. Um, we're going to have a two-part video blog on this, on this subject. It's 10 things of what not to do when buying a house. Uh, this will definitely help you out as you prepare to make the big jump to buy a new house. Uh, but there's some quirky things in our business right now um, that are very, very frustrating. I think the, the best way to say it is probably the 10 most frustrating things when buying a house as a customer. Um, so I want to go over five of those today with you. Um, number one, as you're preparing for a house, as weird as it might seem, don't change jobs. Um, a lot of time, especially in our market here in Houston, uh, people re will relocate and they, with one company and they get another job offer. The market's very, very hot for jobs here in Houston, but do not change jobs throughout uh, during the mortgage process. It's okay if you're getting a new job when you're moving here, but don't take a new one in between the process. Uh, number two, um, do not change your pay structure. Okay, sometimes you can't control this. Sometimes your employer comes to you and they say, hey, we want you to lower your base income and increase your commission or your, or, or your overtime. So um, any change in pay whatsoever, make sure your loan officer knows about it, even if it's a raise. Uh, raises are typically good things, but uh, in today's environment, we need to make sure that our paycheck stubs match our loan application. So over communication is the key. Um, number three, no new credit. So investors and the government have the ability to refresh your credit report the day before closing. So I actually had a client um, a couple months ago call me from the line at Best Buy and saying, hey, I got this, uh, Jason, can I buy this uh, big screen TV, this plasma screen TV? It's zero percent interest and no payments even. And in his mind, he thought, well, there's no payment, so it shouldn't affect my loan. But the fact is, in our mortgage environment, we have to count a payment for you in that instance. So do not change your, uh, do not take any new credit out between the time you apply and the time you buy a house. Um, Number four is very, very important and probably the most frustrating of all. Um, we have to, as your loan officer, we have to paper trail all cash deposits. What is a cash deposit? It's anything that's not a direct deposit. Because uh, you see direct deposits, we can see where that comes from. So if it's a transfer in from another account, if it's um, actual cash you're putting in, or just a check that you're putting into your account, we have to paper trail that. Of course, cash we cannot paper trail. So we try to tell you to keep your cash in your pocket if you happen to win the lottery or if you uh, go to LaBerge and win some money gambling, um, keep that money and just pay your bills with that. Uh, but it's impossible to paper, uh, paper trail of cash. Um, the last thing in today's video blog is disputing any um, items in your credit report. Please do not dispute any items in your credit report. Um, when you do that, um, most of the time, the bank and the investors will make us clear those disputes before you, get, uh, before you close on the loan. And if you have a, a late payment or a collection, um, those companies know that and will make you pay it. Uh, most of the times, we don't, you don't have to pay the collection when you're getting a loan. So those are the top five things. We'll do the next five next time. But remember, do not change jobs during the loan process. Do not change your pay. No new credit taken during the, uh, during the loan process. Make sure we paper chill all of our deposits and do not dispute anything on your credit report. Thanks and have a great day.